Welcome everyone to the third and final part of Genesary Code's Valentine Day event. In the previous two parts, we learned that the girls are going to put on a performance and also give chocolates to the boys that they care for and are thankful for. They are going to perform the play The Princess Chocolate and the Two Princes, which is going to be played by Shirley, Euphemia, and Layla. Layla and Euphemia are the princes, which is Edgar and Eugene, I believe. And Shirley is going to play the Princess Chocolate. Her real name is actually Charlotte in the story. We have now got all the pieces together, and now it's all going to come together in this final part. Let's get to it. This one is seven parts. So, this could take a bit of time to get through. We shall see. Part 1. Sweet Invitation. Ah, Al's first uh, time in the story. He actually hasn't been here all this time. Obviously, that was a bit redundant. Some of the school is more lively these days. Huh, isn't that what Cecile said? Anyways. So, what's it like being with Layla? That's none of your business, my friend. I use that term loosely. Dude, why did you refer to me as third person? You could have said, did I hear anything? You call me Akito. I'm right next to you, buddy. Ha, ah, secret. He was paid in advance. What does that mean? Like, to shut up or something? You guys don't ask, okay? The morning I wasn't even dealing with? I'm confused. They must have paid them off so they wouldn't say anything. Guys, what's going on here? We need explanations. We, the men of this world, need to know. Lush. Are you really angry about that? You kept us uh, secrets from her. Al, tell calm on his BS. You can do it. You can do it. No. Guys, don't worry about it. It's just an event. Who cares? You know, it's not the world's at stake or anything. Oh wait, the world is because of that freaking moon. Do we forget about the moon, guys? Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Suzaku, you're worried about a cat? You fool. Now, I'm not like that worried. I'm just saying, I like the cat. Zaku's like weird Akito, don't even ask. The cat. Oh god, not the cat. Now Akito is scared. See, look, you've done, Suzaku. You, you scared both Alush and Akito. They gotta find Eliza and Akito. And Akito. <laughs> no, um, and Arthur. But they're with Nunnally. So there's no harm there. Yeah, see, they're, they're friends now. Oh, thank God. Oh, Nelly, what's the plan for the whatever you guys are doing? Belush, I can't tell you. Lois spells U V Y U F F I E. It's kind of funny. An important role. Ooh. Do tell. Please have this. Oh, it's a book. Uh oh, Lush can't read, guys. This could be a problem. From Code Bad, he's like, oh, this is a problem. I can't read. Invitation The Valentine Performance Princess Chocolate and the Two Princes. Well, what do you guys think? Hmm. 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 I see. So you don't know. Zaku's like, will you feed me there? Um, yes, then I'll definitely show up. I'm going to play. It looks like fun. I'm going to the play. Yeah, why not? My girlfriend's doing it. I'll, I'll go check it out. I kind of have to, honestly. It's the rules.
Why is Lush still freaked out? Well, don't worry, they're surprised. Except no one is. Only Lush is like, what? Should update his expression in this scene. I was surprised. And we'll participate. Alright, cool. Yeah, obviously. This is a cool event for everyone, obviously. Leia's in a play. He wants to, obviously, he has to go. It's boyfriend obligations and stuff like that. Plus, it's for them anyways, you know, thanking all the guys. Going to another person? Wonder who that would be. Can't take their hands off? What does that mean? Like they're, they're busy or something? Maybe, maybe it means they can't like show up or something. What, 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 what preparation are they doing for this event? Yeah, yeah. I cut it off too early. Of course, they have a, a theater. How convenient. Right, Colin? How convenient. What kind of chocolate, though? Chocolate pizza or chocolate protein bar? I guess they. I guess C two is no longer involved in the chocolate process. She's been fired from her duties. No cosplay though. Oh, she wants to get everyone chocolates. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> C2's eyes. Well, that was a nice. She's surprisingly a good person. Ayano's a good person. What are you talking about, C2? Wow. Of course she's good at cooking. Why wouldn't she be? I'm, I'm just kidding. That's, that's, that's a bad joke. Wait, are they talking about cooking or, their, or who they are as a person? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought about being a good person. A cook. Yeah, I, I didn't know. That's a fair point, C2. I take it back what I just said. And now Colin's like, are you serious? Of course I can cook. Why can't I cook? Yeah, C2's not doing anything. C2 eats food. She doesn't make it. Although she did make the food in Resurrection, so she has the skills, but won't use them. Yeah, I specialize in tasting. <laughs> uh, so funny. C2's hilarious. There's nothing wrong. Just me and Colin don't like each other. That's about it. Oh, that look at she's like, oh, did someone eat it? No, I want those samples. It was true. That was a weird way to end part one that C2 couldn't find her samples. But anyways, we'll move on to uh, part two. Let's keep this going. Part two is translates to, I should say. Um, did like the dude forget to translate? Maiden's determination. Okay. Ooh, there's the theater. Like, I mean, the theater. Yeah, the, the stage. Ooh, that's so cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's pretty cool. We learn from Princess Chocolate, what do we really need is neither rich supplies nor traditional treasures, to be sincere. It'd be cool if they showed all three of them in front of the current without the, 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 the text. You know, like a nice image. If you think of the people of all your heart, and you think of the country, even if it's a thin land, even in a poor country, people can smile. Oh, they're, they're going over the lines. They're rehearsing, I think. Yes, conflict does not create anything. If you know each other and have sincerity, there will be no conflict. 
I think what Layla said earlier, they kind of embodied the role when they put on the costumes. And they've been practicing many times. And they've been rehearsing them for a while. Mostly a dress rehearsal. Yeah, sure. Shirley's doing a great job. Now she's embarrassed about it. Oh, yeah, she kept them at peace, that's true. It, it was nothing, I just, you know. Oh, she's so, um, oh, that's cute. Don't be humble. All right, that was all me, baby. All me. <laughs> Mr. Ogi secretly saw the script. Ogi. Ogi, wait. Ogi is a teacher still in this world. That was like the birthday celebration. That's still a thing. What a strange world this is. Ogi's actually a teacher. So Ogi's responsible for this script. Okay. And also Valetta too, because they're, you know, they're basically married at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you also shot her too, uh, Shirley. Did you forget about that? You shot her. But they're in love, guys. Why would you not get the chocolate? I'm so confused. Oh, will she? <laughs> She's so upset when called it. When uh, Millie asked her. But it's a good question, though. Well, are you? I'm going to get one to Akito. I'm going to get one to Suzaku. That only leaves the loose left for you. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, what's going on here? We got a crowd of people ready to watch the play. You guys ready yet? They're they're working out their love issues. We don't got time for that. Look like they're approaching them a little closer, huh? It's kind of weird. Answer the question, Shirley. Are you going to give Alusha chocolate? Shirley has a loved one, right? Speak of Alusha, I met you the other, him the other day. My half brother. Um. Excuse me. My half-brother, Shirley and Lelouch are classmates at Ashford Academy. Stop, stop. stop guys. Leave me alone. This is amazing. I love this. What about those two? I already picked Suzaku. I'm going to give him chocolate. See? Oh, my God. And, of course, she'll give it to Akito because they're clearly in love. No, it's not. Yeah, except you, though. Well, 
チャーリー必要なものは真心でもその真心も胸に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に秘めたままでは伝わらない心に Very good. It's a very important step for Shirley. Let's make chocolate together. All right, that's part two. Part three, we're going through this pretty quickly, actually. We have three more to go, plus a bonus. This is part three. Determining, I apologize. The determination of the disappeared maiden. Does Shirley run away or something? There's some birds, okay. Oh, what's text say? A few days later. Uh, C2, she still never got her uh, her samples. The numbers aren't enough. The numbers don't match. What do you mean by that? Guys, specifics. What are you talking about numbers? Did you go? Go where? Enough chocolate to make. Oh, oh that's not good. How many are you missing? 31? Maybe a few. Then why is she going crazy about it then? And they're making extra, so what's the problem? Hi! Not sure whose voices those were, but inside Gigi or uh, C2. They're making chocolates, I believe. Oh, they're in the play first, not the chocolates. Guess that makes sense. Oh, she was very nice. Nice to meet you. They already met. What the hell? That's weird. Yes, leave it to me. Awesome. Customers are ready to go. Oh, the, the men they invite, the boys they invited. Nice. And the customers are ready to go. We already saw them. Why are they asking her this question? Everyone's so excited for this play. It's being made. It's going to be amazing. Leave it to me. Shirley's kind of nervous now. Wait, what's wrong? Everything's fine now? Well, everyone's ready. Let's do this thing. Yep. That's an interesting expression on Yuffie's face. I don't think I've seen that one before yet in this whole event.
You must have chocolates or something. Oh, she can't find the chocolate she got for Lelouch. No way. What happened to her chocolates? So someone took Shirley's chocolates. I wonder who that was. Let's, um... Let's find out. Part 4. Here we go. Title is... Bittersweet Opening. Alright. I guess so, because she can't find the chocolate. Man, it's so epic the way they're drawn here. Couldn't find Shirley's chocolate. This is so sad. They're about to go perform, but they don't have the chocolate. I don't think it's your fault. I think it's something else. I can confirm that, but there was no Shirley chocolate if there's anything else. She probably says, you know, thanks guys, it's, it's the right, let's just go perform and we'll forget about it. Yeah, they gotta concentrate. What's wrong? C2, do you remember me, by the way? You know, the Gios contract game when I was a kid? No memories. Hey, first of all, the Gios contract, you didn't accept it yet. But to your point, surely I have some backup if you want. Sure, long translation, what's going on? Good luck. Do your best, everybody. Well, C2, did you take the chocolate? We're going to find out what happened with that. Just the four of them? I guess that makes sense. Their observations are funny. The lighting and thing is solid. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, Alan knows about her cosplay abilities, unfortunately. That's not nice. I mean, I guess that's true, though. I can't wait to see Layla so much. I would see her. Strange combination of characters? Uh, maybe. Considering you don't really know the other two, it's hard for you to say that. I mean, I don't know, two thirds were, would have worked together. I don't, I don't think that's that weird. Oh god, what was that? Oh, about well, the start. Was that like a horn or something? Okay. Part 5 is now the play. Let's do it. Whereabouts of Sincerity. Ah, it's so cute. Once upon a time, there was a poor country in one place. But the people kept smiling. Because of a lovely princess, Charlotte. Unfortunately, because the text keeps scrolling, I don't, I don't want to accidentally lose a page, so I'm just going to wait and do each one line by line. Hopefully, he won't do this for us to play. 
Charlotte, who always carries chocolate, was called the Chocolate Princess by everyone and was loved. Hello. What? Are you hungry? If so, please have this chocolate. Uh, aren't you sweet? Foo foo, it's best to laugh like that. <laughs> Her expression, I was like, what did I just say? One day at a ball where neighboring countries gathered, Charlotte had a fateful encounter with the two princes. One is Eugene, the Lord of the Lion Country, which has rich land. The other is Raymond, a dragon country with a long tradition. The two princes were fascinated by Charlotte at first glance and asked him to be his princess. I think it was her, actually. What a beautiful person you are, Princess Chocolate, in that poor country. I want to marry you. If, I, if you become my wife in my lion country of abundant land, Let's promise to live a prosperous life. You're, you are the chocolate princess in that poor country. What a lovely person. If, I, if you become my wife in my traditional land of dragons, let's promise to live a prestigious life. So we got prosperous and prestigious. But Charlotte would have none of that. No matter which prince you marry, there is no doubt that the poor Harlot country or Jarlot country will be rich. However, Charlotte makes a, a suggestion to the two princes. Princess. We still don't know each other very well, then you can't get a marriage offer, so you must learn more about me before we get married. Therefore, I have a request for both of you. Would you please bring me what I think is what's most needed in this world? Intermission, I guess? I can't, I can act so proudly. He hasn't come yet. They're gonna all this through the chocolates now. Interesting. Haven't seen since the performance started. Does he do? Does he do take all the chocolates? Uh oh, Tr Colin's pissed. What happened to the chocolates? I have to complain later. Working so far in this condition. What's that current sound I heard from the ceiling? Arthur? Arthur? Oh, the cat. Uh, yes, as you take for granted the rising sun in the morning, I think both you are happy to have food and treasure. What I need most is not that. 
It's strange Shelly does a ad lib. I was surprised when I looked it up a while ago. Oh, they messed the lights up. I was surprised, Eugene, Princess Chocolate. It seems you didn't add to the road to the food of the Lion Country. Layla is emphasizing her mouth. I wonder if it means she looks at Arthur's mouth. Interesting. That's my chocolate. That's my call. There's no line, Millie. You know that. Chocolate. Yes, my chocolate is thinking of the people. You can't get married unless you know what that means. Wow, so much ad libbing right now. Arthur was missing the chocolate I made for Lush, or gnashing on it. It's nice to fund the chocolate, but it's dangerous to walk in such a place. Keep playing him. Oh, she just trying to catch the cat. That's funny. Ah, uh, that's actually kind of funny. She's capturing the cat. The cats, rather. Stupid cats. So the cats were eating the chocolate. I knew it all along. Cats don't understand it, they're just cats. Yes, I finally understand. The meaning of Charlotte's words. Was well done ad living, I'll say that much. Like four people, though, you know, if it was like a bigger audience, I would get it, but it's, it's just a loose Akito, Al, and Sasaku. Hmm, <laughs> climax. Don't tell me to add about climax. Poor choice of words. All right, part six the ending of the play. We're almost done with this. We're going pretty quick. Pretty quick. Not that I want to rush through this, I'm just saying. Anyhow, part six. 
sincerity, and chocolate for everyone. All right, let's do this. As the thing continued, the War of the Nations arrived. Yep, they had a long-standing feud. The Ordinary Prince returns to each country, and you'll be able to see each other on the battlefield's enemies. At the time, it was Charlotte who broke into the battlefield. Both countries are big and rich. Why do the countries need to fight for? A little more. I got both. Ah, oh, she got the cats. Oh, she's gonna fall on them. Uh oh. Don't go wild in a place like this. What's the... Huh? I don't know what the context is behind what she's saying. We learn from Princess Chocolate what you really need is neither rich supplies or traditional treasure. It's to be sincere. If you think of the people in the country be sincere, whether it's thin land or poor country, people can smile. That's actually uh, Euphemia's goal, make people smile. That's right, conflict doesn't create anything. Knowing each other is the solution. Oops. Oops. Ah, she did fall on them. <laughs> this would have been so funny if it was animated. Why is C2 on stage? What's going on here? Did you fall on the stage right now? That's funny. Is the voice of Arthur and Eliza? I guess it is, so those darn cats ruined everything. <laughs> I guess this play is more fun than they expected. And surprise me, what do you think, Lelouch? She's always performing, if you know what I mean. Are you okay? I'm an immortal witch, so of course I'm okay. <laughs> she does not evolve. It's kind of funny, actually. When the two princes learned the importance of sincerity, what a chocolate cat, which who watches over the world, had appeared. A chocolate cat witch. <laughs> C2 is now known as the chocolate cat witch. It has to be something that Colin threw up that through there. As be her idea. Where would else who else would, would call her that? It's a Mira's ad lib. I have to ride here. Millie Child, what are you doing now? Alip that came up with the Sega? Just a little until the last player match to survive. Not sure what she means by that. C2 is just going along, but it's funny. Yes, I'm a chocolate cat witch. I was watching over Princess Chocolate, who puts her. Uh, oops, I uh, went too fast there. I was watching over Princess Chocolate, who puts her heart into chocolate.
I'm told that Princess Chocolate will jump into the battlefield. I rushed with anxiety. The two princes there often know something really important. As proof of sincerity from me, let's give each one a magical black cat made from this chocolate. What the heck did you just say? Magical black hats made of chocolate. You don't see that every day. Arthur's like, what? Because they, they got involved in the chocolate. That's funny. It's an honor. I'd love to receive it. But in exchange, a contract must be made. Let's send this golden black hat to the Prince of the Lion Country. Sounds good, thank you. Take this black cat in white gloves to the Prince of the Dragon Country. Sounds good. Shirley's face is amazing. And it's Charlotte, Princess Chocolate. Yes, me? Uh, too soon. It's going wrong. I often stop the conflict between the two countries. I'll give you a magical chocolate filled with your sincerity. This is my chocolate. Yes, as it was always meant to be. Now with the magical chocolate, give everyone a hearty chocolate. Everyone, huh? That's right, chocolate for everyone. Magical chocolate listening to my request. May our sincerity reach everyone. Oh, that's kind of cute. Alright, now back to the plot, I guess? To the chocolate cat witch. Charlotte can make a wish for a magical chocolate that was handed over. How about raising it? A hearty chocolate for everyone on the spot. Oh, cute. And just like that, the play had ended. Oh, they were there too? Oh, I didn't know they were watching the play. Oh, what? What? I didn't know Ryu, uh, um, Yukiya, and Ashley were here. Oh, now they're giving the chocolate to everyone. Nice. Hmm, Ashley, I love this character so much. Gino, here's chocolate for you. Oh, he has to give the Gino? Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Um, I almost feel bad for Colin G Gino, really? I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this ship. I, I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings. It would have been better if she gave it to Lucia or someone. Jack, she really cares about that. I don't think she cares that much about Gino in this respect. It's very one sided. But she's happy either way. Okay. So, Lelouch. So sorry about that. That's alright. I don't care. I'm an idiot, anyways. Of course you are. Thank you, Nana and Lee. He looks upset. He's decided to be in law, so don't take it. Don't take off so much, Lelouch. Oh, so now he's giving him chocolate, and it pisses him off. If you had an older brother, well, Schneisel, Odysseus. 
I'm not sure what she meant by that. That face is scary. Yeah, Lucia's very scary. I don't know what, like, what's going on there. Oh, uh, this is cute. Akito, here is the chocolate for you. Can you keep Eliza seriously? Sure. Sorry about that, by the way. That was awkward. Oh, that's nice. So good. I expected there was only a commander and it was drifting. Wow, Akio's praising her acting. And now she's blushing. Ah, that's adorable. So what? Oh, this is cute. This is actually a nice scene. Put them together. Uh, now Akito is embarrassed. Um, unbelievable. Uh, Zaku and Colin? Uh, Zaku and Colin, I'm sorry. Zaku and Euphemia, my bad. This is great for couples since obviously it's uh, um, Valentine's Day. Do we see Ogi and Valetta since they mentioned about giving them chocolates? You are my knight and important. They're also in love too. Oh, and there's Arthur. Looks like Zack a little embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> Arthur does always bite him. Nothing's changed there, huh? Nothing's changed. Maybe jealous. Give everyone the chocolate safely. Looks like it's done. Uh, I doubt it. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's terrible. I think she was talking about Lush there. In this way, Charlotte's sincerity, it became chocolate and reached people all over the world. Congratulations. And finally, a little bonus part we get. I believe this is where she actually goes to Lelouch and tries to give him the chocolates. Part 7, sort of. Epilogue. <laughs> Gigi's so angry at C2. Why, though? I'm skipping such a place again. Everyone's giving out chocolates. What's the problem? I don't hear people. I'm not skipping. I thought I wouldn't watch over until the end. See? Oh, now he's fine? I'm confused. Handle the chocolate from now on. Sure, whatever. They'll take care of me? What's the context here? I don't know. It's, still, it's cool seeing the two interact. Of course, they don't talk about the fact that they're both immortal or where they got their powers from. I mean, we know C2, but Gigi, we're not sure about that one yet. Sending salt to your loved ones. I don't think you should do that.
What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused too. He had a dark face. What does that mean? You didn't like it? Special chocolate, huh? Make it early. Valentine's Day is over? Okay, I'm going. Man. CT is kind of annoying. It's funny. Oh, this is cute. It's okay, Shirley. Always good to see you. The outfit's amazing. No. You're so nervous. I'm kind of too, also, watching this. He's her. She did practice a lot. Hmm. <laughs> magic chocolate. Sh surely there's there's magic chocolate? Give it to Lulu. Oh, me. Uh, but. Yeah, I know you don't have to say anything. I just want you to get it because it's my sincerity. Thank you, Shirley. I'm glad. Yeah, me too. And I think that's the end of the event. And there you go. That is the end of the entire Valentine's Day. Well, Janissary Codes Valentine's Day event. Hope you like, hope you guys enjoyed the video videos. And the story too, I thought it was pretty good. Good conversations with the different characters and it kind of built on the previous lore from the different uh, stories. A good slice of life, I guess I could say, uh, I guess overall story. And I like how Shirley got some time with Felouche. It was kind of depressing that Colin had to be with Gino, but uh, it is what it is. And the other parts were good too with Sasaku and Euphemia. And of course, finally Layla's in the game. Let me know your thoughts about this event and the other uh, videos, and of course your thoughts on Layla becoming into the game. Or I should say Layla now being a part of the game. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching, and just like the game just said, Happy Valentine's Day.